Hey everybody, Johnny Kashmir here with another Wrestling With Reality YouTube video. I want to thank you guys for subscribing and suggest that you do so if you haven't already. Just click the subscribe button and also check, uh, click on the bell icon. That way you can see, uh, you know, new videos. You'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. I also started a new Twitter uh, for Wrestling With Reality. You can follow me at WWR. Johnny K. That's capital W, capital W, capital R, capital J, lowercase O-H-N-N-Y, capital K. So find me on Twitter. That would be a big help. All right, let's get into it. We're doing another Mandela Effect video, everybody. Sorry. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we got here. We are going to start off with, I don't know if this is a Mandela Effect or what, but this is crazy. Okay, I want you guys to check this out. It again has to do with clouds. Now, we've already shown the split screen sunset. We've shown the square clouds. Okay, watch this. Shit, what the hell is that? You seeing this thing? Now, let me rewind it a little. Check this out. Holy shit. Watch this, look. What the hell is that thing? Check this out. Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Look, it comes back. Watch. Oh Look. Goodness. It's like someone's playing with a flashlight or something. Fucking flipping out, dude. I have no idea what is going on there. So that was pretty crazy. Alright, but how about this? How about... The city in the clouds. Have you guys seen this? I think it appeared over China and then somewhere else. Look, these are real. These are real pictures. Look at this. I mean, come on. Something is going on, people. All right. How about the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil? Now look at it here. Quite a beautiful statue, by the way. Look at it here. Look at the people. Okay. So you see how big a person is in comparison to the statue, right? Watch what it looks like now. Look how small these people are. Now, please, something's going on here, people. Let's do it again. Watch. Okay? Look. Look how small it is. Okay? Now watch. Look how big it is. Small. Big. Big. Mandela. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. How about wooden submarines? I mean, boats are made out of wood because wood floats. These were wooden submarines. I mean, I guess they would work, but I've never heard of it. I never heard of wooden submarines. And I'm usually up on this kind of thing. Okay. So this one's a little bit wrestling related. How about this? Sumo wrestling now allows knockouts. Look, and he's knocked out. Like, what? I mean, he is out, out. Okay, watch this. And he's out. Now, you should have to push the guy outside of the uh, ring. But now they just allow you to knock him out. Look, and knocked out. He wins. They didn't even wait to see if the guy was really knocked out. Here we go. Let's watch another knockout. And see ya. Come on. I don't ever remember that. All right, let's get into geography now, the North Pole. Okay, so when you look at a map or a globe, and, you know, I used to have a globe as a kid, and I used to sit and stare at it for hours, okay? And this is how the North Pole always looked. It's just this big ice cap, right? But if you look at all the maps now, whoops, if you look at all the maps now, watch what happens. Nothing. There's nothing there. Like, well, where did the North Pole go? It doesn't make sense. Why is it suddenly gone? I mean, we've already covered that South America moved 1,200 miles to the east. We've already covered that Sicily has moved to the east, and now there's no North Pole. Well, speaking of North Pole, 
Now Santa has nowhere to live, obviously. But what are his reindeer, remember? On Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blixen, right? Blitzen? Well, it's actually Dunder, D-U-N-D-E-R, and Blixem, B-L-I-X-E-M. On Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Dunder and Blixem? I mean, it sounds like a multinational uh, investing conglomerate. Like, uh, you know, you want a great return on your investment? Do you want a safe way to diversify? Put your money in Dunder and Blixem. That's right. We've been established since 1842 to help your money stay safe. All right. So, and you think to yourself, well, why would it be Dunder and Blixem? Well, because in Scandinavian language, Dunder means th thunder. Dunder, thunder. And Blixem means, that's right. Lightning. Thunder and lightning. I don't know. All right, how about Evil Knievel? Look, I typed in Evil Knievel, and it says, Did you mean Evil Knievel? All right, now, when I had my own wrestling promotion, Pro Wrestling Unplugged, I used Ian Knox, a wrestler. And he was a daredevil in real life. He, he just was the kind of person that took risks. So we named him Evil Ian Knox. Okay, and I did my research back then. Okay, I wouldn't have named him E-V-I-L Ian Knox if Evil Knievel was E-V-E-L. Okay, so Evil Knievel's name has changed. The spelling of it anyway. All right, what do you remember about the 9-11 terrorist attack? I remember where I was when I saw it, okay? But check this out. How many World Trade Center buildings collapsed? Wasn't it like we, we watched two collapse on TV and then a third one went down and maybe a fourth one went down later, right? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven went down. What? When did this happen? All seven buildings went down? From airplanes? Very strange. Okay. And more on 9-11. What about the uh, Pentagon? Okay. Now, I'm not even going to get into the whole thing that it wasn't a plane. It was some sort of missile. We're not even going to get into that. But we were told that there were no real fatalities because the part that it hit was under construction, renovation. Uh, how you can have one-fifth of the Pentagon under renovation is crazy anyway, but watch this. 184 dead at the Pentagon. What? 184 people died at the Pentagon from this? Okay, and that's not including people in the plane because, let's be honest, there was no plane. But, like, what? 184 people died at the Pentagon that day? I definitely don't remember that. Anyway, let's get into... I've been talking about the color fetish that the Mandela Effect has. I found another one. Check this out. White watermelons. White watermelons. Weird. Weird. Okay? More map stuff. How about San Bernardino, California? Right? Well, now it's San Bernardino, like like the name Bernard. Okay, now my grandfather and my uncle are both named Bernard. If this was always San Bernardino, I probably would have like made fun of them and called them, you know, Uncle Bernardino or something. But this R was never there. It's always been San Bernardino. At least that's what I remember crazy all right how about a ghost snow wave otherwise known as a snow tsunami look at this it's like a wave of water but it's snow i don't ever remember seeing anything like this okay we saw the fire whirl okay and now we see the ghost tsunami are you kidding me i i don't know i never heard of it how about the spelling of licorice? One of my favorite candies. There's now a Q in it. 
that blew my mind. Okay. <clears throat> now it's like liqueur is liqueur ice liqueur ice. It never had a Q in it that I remember. It was always a C. What is happening, people? Better call somebody. How about rainbow turkeys? More color fetish. Look at this. <clears throat> rainbow turkeys. A blue head. Orange-like eyebrows. Multicolored plumage. Look, green, pink, orange. Pink legs. Never seen anything like that before in my life. Okay? Never have I seen anything like that. All right, how about the man in the moon? Now, we've all heard about the man in the moon. Hell, the um, Andy Kaufman story with Jim Carrey was named the man in the moon. And it's that because people used to look up at the moon and see a man's face. Okay? Now, look. Where do you see a man's face in there? I mean, it's not even close. It's not even close. There's no man's face whatsoever. Okay? There used to be. You used to be able to make out like, oh, that could kind of be a man's face. I know, it's kind of like looking at images in a cloud. You know, it's very subjective. Are they there? Are they not there? But there was enough of a man in the moon to call it that. Okay? And the beginning of the show, The Honeymooners, even put Jackie Gleason in the, sh in the show. He was Ralph Car Cramden. They even put his face in the moon like he's the man in the moon. But now there is no more man in the moon. I mean, look, you can even see here how there's like two eyes, right? Two eyes here, kind of like the face here. Not anymore. All right, how about history? What do you know about the Salem witch trials, ladies and gentlemen? What are the facts about the Salem witch trials, huh? Well, let's just say they were all burned at the stake, right? The witches were burned at the stake. Everybody knows that. Well, now... Not a single person was burned at the stake in Salem for being a witch. They were all hanged. With the exception of one man who suffered a worse fate, that was pressing. They kept, it's called pressing. They, they put rocks on the person until they just collapsed. But not a single person was burned at the stake? So witches were all hanged now? So why does this exist? I, I don't know very strange. All right, how about the timeless tale of Aladdin? Everyone loves Aladdin, right? Great cartoon movie. Now the live action one's about to come out. Well, how about, did you know Aladdin is really Chinese now? Look, I was shocked to discover that Aladdin was described as Chinese by the original tale. Chinese? I mean... What? Okay, how about this? Not only can parrots talk, but now crows and ravens can talk. Look at this. Look at this parrot. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Look at this crow. All right, ready? Listen carefully. Hello! <laughs> Jaw the crow as we've... Hello? What? Crows can talk? How about a raven that can talk? Hello. 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 What? Hello. 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 Oh my goodness. Ravens and crows can talk. Oh, okay. And the last one for this video, birds can now fly upside down. Yes. Now watch this bird up top here. You ready? And flip. Look. Well, let's flip over and just fly upside down for a while. It's totally perfectly normal. Look. What? He's even flapping upside down? Are you kidding? And this is all over the place. All types of birds are doing it. This just happens to be a goose, which is a pretty damn big bird. Okay? Let's watch this again. Look. And flip. I don't ever remember birds flying upside down in this reality. Not in the Sagittarius arm, but maybe here in the Orion Spur. 
unbelievable. Leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think. I'm pretty much winding down on the Mandela effect because I'm not going to cover uh, products. Everyone covers logos and products, so I'm not covering that. But uh, make sure you subscribe and check out my new Twitter. It's WWR Johnny K. All right, you guys have a great day and God bless.